What's up beauty crew and welcome back to She Does Beauty. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a butterfly autumn fall nail. I'm super excited, so let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I went ahead and took just a regular peach nude from Young Nails and I'm kind of just going to diagonal that out. I want this marble to be kind of neutral, but I want a little pop of white and a little pop of glitter. Now for the white, I'm using white from Mia Secret and then for the glitter, it's just a, cra a craft glitter from Michaels and then I did like one tablespoon of glitter to two tablespoons of acrylic and that usually gives it a pretty good consistency um, and then if you want it more opaque you would just build it on but I kind of wanted to add it just as more of a like little pop of so I didn't do it too full on. Now once you're happy with your marble, you can go ahead and just add your butterflies and your glitters or you can go ahead and add some gold flakes like I'm doing. I love gold flakes. I think they just take the set to the next level. They totally elevate any like nail. If you want a simple set, just add a little bit of this on a shimmery nude nail. Bam! Like just the perfect accent for any kind of nails, for bougie nails or even simple nails. So as you can see, I'm just going to mess around with the placement of the butterflies and the glitter and just see how I like it. And the good thing is, is you can move everything around as long as it's not glued or encapsulated yet. So I'm just going to keep adding on these gold foils. And then once I'm done adding on the gold foil, I'm going to add some more spangles and more of the butterflies. Now, once I added these little butterflies, I kind of didn't like how it was looking. I hate when it looks super crowded, so I went ahead and changed it a little bit. I added a smaller leaf right over there, and then I kind of still wanted that other butterfly. So I was like, you know what? Let's live a little. We're just going to add him in the corner, and we'll be happy. Just keep playing with the placement until you or your client is happy and then we are going to encapsulate the entire nail. And don't forget while you're encapsulating you want to keep the sides clean and keep them tapered so just wipe off any excess but be careful when you're wiping off because they're not secure so if you go ham like that they will kind of fall off. So don't forget when you're placing that bead, you kind of just want to lay it down flat and then pat your acrylic down. That way you're not swiping your glitter everywhere. But if you do want to make it a little bit easier, you can go ahead and add a little dot of glue and put the butterfly on top. Just make sure you're using a rhinestone picker upper and not your nail brush itself just due to the fact that you don't want to like get glue on your brush but because I was playing around with it so much and maneuvering them and trying to find a spot for everyone I didn't uh, glue down the glitters and spangles so it's totally up to you you can either work carefully when you're doing your acrylic application or you can glue it down and know like hey that that's not going going nowhere so we're going to finish encapsulating this entire nail and it's okay if it's a little bit thick but we just want to make sure that our spangles and our fall leaf and all of our glitter and foil are nice and safe. So we're just going to make sure that everything is fully encapsulated and then we can debulk it when we file shape and buff. Now that those are all nice and smooth, we can make them shiny. 
I'm using the Beatles gel top coat. It is my favorite and this is my favorite part. Seeing all your hard work and your creativity come together. I know this is going to be a super popular accent nail for my girls and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in the next one, beauty crew. Bye!